Alright, moving on to the next drawer. This is like a cluttered mess, but this is basically all my eye products. So like eyeliners, liquid shadows, uh, single shadows, mascaras, brow products. This is like stuff that I don't really use that often. So let's do the tools first because they're taking up the most space. Um, these are just two different eyelash curlers. I don't really use these. This one looks a little gross, so I think I'm going to chunk this one. Um, but this one I haven't really used that much, so I might keep this. I really only use these when I wear false eyelashes, which is not that much, so I'm just going to keep this one. I don't need two. This is my Sephora Lash Applicator. I use this for false lashes. I definitely recommend getting a pair of these to put on your lashes. I absolutely love these. I cannot live without them. So I don't wear false lashes as much as I used to when I was in band, but yeah, we'll keep these. This I need to clean. <laughs> this is actually something, I think I got it off of Wish. Um, it's like a lash guard that you put, when you're putting on uh, mascara, you put this over your eyes and it just prevents the mascara from getting on your lid. But as you can tell, it definitely works. Um, I'm gonna have to wash this, but I'm definitely gonna keep it. Um, this is my only sharpener. I think it's from Mary Kay. Yep, uh, so I'm definitely keeping this. Let's move in here. I have these lash scissors. I'm definitely keeping these. And then I have a tweezerman. Um, I have some tweezerman tweezers, which I thought I would use for lashes, but I really haven't. So I might just see if my mom wants these. Okay, let's go to this back section. So, ah, I have these two trial size lash glues that I don't think I need. I'm going to toss these. Um, then I have these three. So, this is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. You know, uh, this has a six month lifespan. I've definitely had it longer than that and I used it the other day and it caused an eczema flare up. So, I'm going to chunk this. It's probably expired, which is disgusting. So. I have these two duo lash glues. Um, let's see if they have an expiration. They probably do. Might only say it on the box though. Oh, okay, so one doesn't say it and one says 24 months. I think this one's older. So I'm gonna keep this one um, just because I'm pretty sure it's newer. I don't really use lash glue that much, but I do really love the duo lash glue. Okay, and the last thing is this NYX glitter primer. It has a six month lifespan and I'm pretty sure that I've had this way longer than six months. So I'm gonna chunk it, which is really sad, but I don't want an eye infection, so. Okay, I zoomed you guys in just a little bit because I feel like you couldn't really see me. Uh, this is a bag of glitters. Um, so I have a purple one that I got in a boxy charm, and I have a rose gold, a gold, a silver, and a bronze. I'm gonna keep all these. I really only use these for like special occasions or Instagram makeup, so I'm just gonna keep them in the back right here. Like I had them earlier. Actually, I'm gonna find a better spot, so we're just gonna leave these out for now. Okay, moving on to the next section. I think, yeah, this is not supposed to be there, but this is an e.l.f. Um, cream liner or gel eyeliner. I don't use gel eyeliner like at all, and this is probably expired, so I probably shouldn't even use this anyway, so I'm just gonna chunk it. <clears throat> okay, the first thing I see is this, the crop, or the beauty crop, um, three-piece shadow, Trio in Love You So Latte. This was in a boxy charm. I mean, an Ipsy, I think. Um, I did use this quite a bit. It has a 12 month lifespan. I'm pretty sure it's older than 12 months though, so I'm gonna just chunk it. This next one is an Ella Eden London Shadow in the shade Willow. Um, it has a 36 month lifespan. It's definitely not been that long. I think I got this in like October or November of last year. It's really pretty. Let me just swatch it for you. It's like a wine color. Definitely going to use this in the winter, so I'm going to keep this. Um, this is the My Princess Loose Shadow in Pretty Petal. Uh, let's see the expiration. 36 months. Yeah, definitely hasn't been that long. Oh my gosh. This is going to get everywhere, but I really want to swatch it. It's so gorgeous. I need to remind myself to use this. 
<sighs> oh my god, it's so pretty. Let me let me put the cap over it because this is dangerous. Oh look at that. Oh that's so beautiful. It's not really even picking up that beautiful on camera, but it's really gorgeous. I'm gonna have to remind myself to use this because that's beautiful and it's a shame that I have not used that more. You know what, I'm gonna put this in my everyday makeup drawer because I need to. Okay, um, this is the Bomb Voyage um, eyeshadow. I guess it's just in the shade, oh, in the shade Wilkman. It's really pretty. I used to use this a lot just as like a one shadow look. It has a 12 month lifespan though and I'm pretty sure I've had this for longer than that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to chunk it because I'm pretty sure it's expired. That's sad, it's really pretty. Okay, these next four are all from my NYX, um, what's it called, advent calendar last year. This one's a disaster because I tried to um, see if I couldn't take these out of this packaging and put it into a magnetic like eyeshadow holder, like a Z palette, but they're not magnetic, so that sucks. Um, this is in the shade Sweet Tooth. I'm definitely keeping this. It's super gorgeous. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep that one. <clears throat> I have the color Candy Stash. This is a, yeah, it's a bright pink. I'm never going to use this. I might see if a friend wants it. It's got an 18-month lifespan. It's definitely not been that long. It's not even Christmas yet, so it's been about 10 months. Um, this is in the shade Whipped Mocha. Really pretty. I've kind of been using this actually in my crease like every day, so I'm going to keep that. Um, and then this one in the shade Cookie Cutter. Definitely going to keep it. It's a nice eyeshadow base. Okay. So the next one I have is this Hikari Cream Pigment in the shade Fierce. I think this is like a red color. Yeah. Oh my god. That's beautiful. Um, this has a 12 month life. Ooh. Hello. Came out of its... Did not mean to do that. Um, it has a 12 month lifespan. Let's swatch it. It feels a little odd. It might be expired, but look at it. Oh my gosh. It's very red. It's beautiful. But I don't need it, and it's probably expired, so I'm going to chunk it. That's sad. This next one is the Elizabeth Mott Pop Goes the Shadow eyeshadow in Mermaid Teal. It's a very pretty blue color. Um, let's see if it's, this doesn't have a expiration date on it. I'm going to assume it's still, yeah, it still feels good. Um, it's really pretty. I should have used this in the summer, but I didn't even think about it. So I'm going to keep this. It's gorgeous. Um, so this next one is the a Helios Beauty eyeshadow in the shade Pinkies Up. It's got a 12-month lifespan. I don't think I've had it for that long, actually. Um, oh, wow. This is beautiful. This kind of reminds me of the ColourPop eyeshadows. I've never had one. Um, but wow that's beautiful it's very glittery it's super gorgeous i'm gonna use this in some holiday looks coming up because this is beautiful i'm definitely keeping it okay let's move on to some cream eyeshadows so i'm gonna find one that has an expiration date on it because i want to see how long these are supposed to last okay this stila glitter and glow uh says 12 months um this is in the shade kitten karma and I got this, I think, last August, so I don't think it's good anymore. <gasps> oh, but it's so beautiful. How can I get rid of it? I'm definitely keeping that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> definitely keeping that. Okay. Let's look at this e.l.f. one in the shade. Brushed Copper. I don't think they sell this anymore, actually. And I'm pretty sure it's dry. Yeah, I mean, it's, like, okay. It's nothing to... Like compared to the Stila one, it's like nothing. So I'm just gonna chunk it. It's probably expired. This is the Cover FX Shimmer Veil in the shade Amethyst. Um, it's like a pinky blue color. Let's swatch her and see if it's still any good. Oh wow, no, it's like a purple. That's pretty. I always told myself I'd do some Instagram looks with this, but I never got to it. So I might try and do something for the holidays with this. I'll keep it. Okay, next I have this trio that I got from TJ Maxx, actually. And these are the shimmer and glows, not the glitter and glows. Um, I haven't had them that long. I think I got them. It has a 12-month lifespan again. Um, I got them in the summer, I want to say. So I have Spotlight, Kitten, and Vivid Smoky Quartz. 
Now, I think I'm definitely gonna keep these two. This is like a gold and this is like a rose gold, but I don't think I would get any use out of this bronzy one. Super gorgeous, but I just don't think I would get any use out of it. So I might see if a friend wants this. Now, oh, I don't even wanna move into here. This is scary. Okay, first off, these are all bad. Like I know they're bad. So I'm just gonna chunk them because I know that they're disgusting and yeah, no good. So I have these two uh, liquid eyeliners from AOA Studios. This one is Golden Girl and this one is Spotlight. They're just like glittery eyeliners. Pretty sure they're still good. They're, yeah, they're not dry at all. So I'm gonna keep these. These are fun to do uh, like Instagram looks with. The next one is this Essence Eye Pencil in white. Um, it's got a 36 month lifespan, so it's definitely still good. I'll keep that. Um, I have these two NYX Faux Blacks eye pencils. One's in Burnt Sienna, one's in Onyx. Um, so this is like burgundy and this is like a gray blue. I think I'm gonna keep them both. They have a 24 month lifespan. I don't think I've have had them that long. I've been really enjoying this one to do like eyeliner looks for work. Um, it's nice and simple, but still has some color in it. So I'm gonna keep both of these. Um, next is this e.l.f. eyeliner eraser pencil pen thing. Um, it's really great if you don't know how to or if you mess up your liquid eyeliner. I love this, it's like my secret weapon, but it's definitely old. It's definitely like kind of dried out. So I'm just gonna throw this out and I'll replace it if I really need to. So last thing on the top row is this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. This used to be all the rage. Um, it has a nine month lifespan. I think I've definitely had it longer than that though. So I'm gonna have to chunk it. I haven't really used it a lot lately anyways, so I'm not really sad to see it go. Okay, next let's get into some black liners. That's what I have mostly down here. Um, this is the Vintage Cosmetics Smoky Eye Pencil in Jet Black. It's just like a black eye pencil. It has a, it doesn't say it's Lifetime. Um, let's see how many black pencils I have before I get rid of any. Um, this next one is the Urban Decay uh, Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. I've used this a lot. I really love it. Um, it has a 24 month lifespan. I don't think I've had it that long. This is like one of my favorites, so I'm definitely keeping this. Um, another pencil. I have this one. This is the Ciate London uh, Wonderland Eye Pencil. I think it's just plain black, but you can't really see it because I have some other stuff. Yeah, it's just plain black, but it has this really nice um, like brush on the other side that I can like brush the eyeliner out with. It has a 36 month lifespan. It's definitely still good. I'm gonna keep this. I'd rather keep these two than this vintage one, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I think this is the last like black eye pencil. This is from Jante Blue. It's a glittery star liner. Um, this has a lifespan of 24 months. It's definitely still good. It's glittery black and gold. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can kind of see the glitter in it. That's really pretty. I'm actually gonna keep it. Maybe I'll use it for some holiday looks. It's really pretty. Pencil, pencil, pencil. Okay, I have this other Smoke and Mirrors double-ended eyeliner pencil in dark brown and light brown. I never used the light brown side. I don't think I've ever used it. This is again from the Dollar Tree. No, Dollar Tree, 99 cent store. Um, but I do like the dark brown one. I used it a lot this summer. Definitely gonna keep this. It's not bad at all, so. I think this is the last pencil liner that I have. So this is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Silky Nude. This is like a fleshy color instead of the white. I kind of like this one a little better. Um, see the lifespan on here, uh, 24 months. Yeah, it's definitely still good. I'm gonna keep this one. I probably use this one more than I use the white one, but I'm still gonna keep the white one because I like to use it sometimes for Instagram looks. Okay, moving on to liquid liners. I have this e.l.f. Um, Expert liquid liner. It's definitely expired, but I, I really recommend this um, if you are looking for a cheap eyeliner. It's not very easy to work with, um, but it definitely stays on a really, really long time. So I definitely recommend this one. Mine's just definitely expired. Next, I have this Ciate London Stamp and Drag Eyeliner. So this is one of those cool ones. And I think this side is the stamp, yeah. So it has a triangle stamp on it. So you can stamp it on like it's your wing liner and you drag it 
to make your wing. It's really cool. Um, and then the other side is just like super pointy so you can make it precise. It seems like it's a little dry actually. It has a six month lifespan. I'm pretty sure I got this for myself Christmas of last year. So I don't think it's good anymore. I'm really sad that I didn't use this more than I should have because it's really cool, but I, I have to throw it away because it's expired. Okay, next is this Mary Kay liquid eyeliner pen. And I've been using this pretty much every day as my liner for work. It is kind of starting to dry out. Um, doesn't say the lifespan, I'll have to ask my mom, but um, I'm still gonna keep it until it completely dries out on me. And I'll, I think I'll put this in my everyday makeup. This one is the Amuse Eyeliner Waterproof. Um, this is a liquid liner from AOA. Um, this is basically the same thing as the e.l.f. one, but the brush is thicker, um, so I don't like it as much, and it doesn't stay as long. I think I'm just gonna trash it, honestly. It was only a dollar, so I'm not mad, not mad about it. Lies, this is another pencil liner. This is the Modster um, Smooth Ride Supercharged Eyeliner in black. Oh yeah, that's really smooth. Wow, okay. Let's see your life expectancy, 24 months. Yeah, it's definitely still good. I'll, I'll keep this one too. Okay, I have two of these Ico London Skinny Liquid Eyeliners. I think I got both of these in two separate Ipsy bags. This one's the older one and this one's the newer one. I'm not gonna open this one because I don't think I have. So I think it's still good. Let's see if this one's dry or not. Um. No, it's not dry. Okay, I'll keep this one too. It has a six month lifespan. So I'm gonna keep it until it dries out. So these are all the liners that I'm gonna keep. And these are all the liners I'm gonna trash because they're expired. And I'm gonna put the Mary Kay one in my everyday makeup. Let's move on to brow products. So I have been using this It Cosmetics Brow Power. Um, I think this is Universal Taupe, the shade. Yeah, Universal Taupe. Brow pencil. I got this in a boxy charm. It's amazing. Oh my god, I only have this much left. That's so sad. Um, but yeah, I really love this. I'm definitely gonna keep it in my everyday makeup and uh, use it up. Hopefully, it's really good. Um, this brow gel I've also been using daily. It's the Elf Wow Brow in the shade Neutral Brown. Really love this. Um, I do find, however, that my eyebrows are very unruly. <laughs> And sometimes this doesn't cut it, um, but I do like the color of it, and I do like that it gives my brows a little more fullness, fills in kind of the sparse areas, but I don't think it, it fully controls my crazy eyebrows, so I might look for something different once I run out of this one. This brow gel. This is the AOA Wonder Brow Tinted Brow Pomade. That's what I meant, brow pomade. Let's see what shade you're in. Medium brown. I never use pomades, and this is like, Pretty dry it looks like, so I'm just gonna chunk this. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I don't think I've opened this. So I'm gonna keep this closed um, in the shade three, whatever shade three is. It's just like a trial size. I'm pretty sure I got this in Ipsy. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep it and I'll use it when I use up the e.l.f. one. And this is the Mary Kay Volumizing Brow Tint. I think I got it too dark. I got a dark brunette shade. So I think I'm just gonna give this to my mom. Um, because it's way too dark for me and it comes out very like so much is on this little wand So I think I'm gonna have to get a different shade um, to, to actually use this one. So I'm just gonna give this to my mom. Um, this is the smoke and mirrors perfectly brow perfectly brown pencil brow pencil um, I Did actually like this when I tried this. This is also from the 99 cent store. I think I'm gonna keep it actually um this I used to use all the time. This is the e.l.f. It doesn't even say. It's like a, a cream brow product. Yeah, it's a cream brow product um, in the shade dark brown. It's, it's huge and it almost was too big for my brows. And the tip of it doesn't look that good. I don't know if it'll focus on it, but it looks kind of like it's uh, expired. So I'm just going to chunk this. I definitely recommend this though if you're not worried about like precise brows if you just want to be really fast and just fill in your brows and go. So this is another AOA Studio uh, product. This is the Sculpting Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. I think I remember liking this actually. Um, it might be a little too, it looks like kind of red actually. Um, but I think I'll keep this anyways. Um, 
Maybe I'll use it once I run out of the It one. This is the e.l.f. brow pencil um, in the shade Deep Brown. I do actually like this one as well. Um, see, look at the color compared to that one. It's a lot less like, this is like orange almost compared to this one. This one's like more gray toned. So I like the shade of this one better. Um, I don't know what the expiration is on. These e.l.f. products, like the cheaper ones, don't usually have an expiration on them, which is kind of weird. Uh, but I, I'm still going to keep it, so, whoops. <laughs> um, this is the Flower Beauty Brow Vixen Tattoo Effect Stain in Soft Brown. I actually got this because I heard a lot of people talking about using, like, brow stains like this for freckles. Um, and it, it used to not be, like, liquidy, so I left it in here for a while, and now it's liquidy again. So I'm going to keep this for uh, faux freckles. And then this last brow product is the Chella Beauty Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. So one side is this brush, and then the other side is this brow cream in a little pot. Um, I actually really loved this. I used to love this a lot in the summer. Um, it has a 12 month lifespan. I'm pretty sure I got it at the beginning of the year last year. Um, so actually, I think I might put this in my everyday drawer and try to use it up before, my, um, before this one goes bad. Yeah, because this has a 24 lifespan, 24 month lifespan on the it one, so I'm gonna leave this in here and put this in my everyday drawer. Actually, try and use it up before it goes bad. So I didn't really get rid of a lot of brow products, but I am chunking these two, giving this one to my mom, and putting these two in my everyday drawer. Okay, mascaras. So let's start off with this one. I've been using this every day, just trying to like get rid of all my um, trial size mascaras. This is the Ico Lash Alert Mascara. Um, it works well. It's not my favorite thing ever. It's okay. Um, yeah, I've just been trying to get rid of all my, use up all my trial size ones, um, before they go bad. So, yep, I've been working on this one. I'm going to put it back in my everyday drawer. Um, this next one is the Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara. I'm not going to open this because it only has a six month lifespan once you open it. So I'll leave it in here and I'll get to it when I get to it. Um, this is the It Superhero Mascara. I might have opened this. I might not have. It has a six month lifespan. So I'm going to keep that. Um, I've been using this every day, the Mary Kay Lash Primer. Uh, I'm going to put this back in my everyday drawer. I really love it, by the way. <laughs> it adds a lot of um, like volume to your lashes. Um, and then this is the Mary Kay Lash Love Waterproof Mascara. Well, let me show you guys the um, lash primer because... It's pretty cool. It's just white, um, like it's clear basically. And you just put it on as like a primer and I really do like it. Um, and then the Waterproof Lash Love Mascara. I have been using this pretty much every day since high school when it came out. Um, I use this on my lower lashes every single day and no matter if I cry or whatever, nothing get in the rain, nothing, nothing makes this come off. So I absolutely love this. I use it every day for my lower lashes. Love. Definitely recommend. Okay. Here's the last four um, little trial size ones. I have this Lancome Monster Big mascara that my cousin gave me. She worked for Lancome. Um, so I'm going to keep this. I haven't opened it yet. Um, so I'm going to keep it before it goes bad. I'll use it up. Um, I'll put it back here. I have this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Um, it has a six month lifespan. I'm gonna keep this. I think I'm gonna keep really all of my mascaras. The Bad Girl Bang from, oh, Benefit. Let me not open it. I might not have opened it yet. And then the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. These all have a six month lifespan. So I'm just going to keep them and try and use them up. I think I've opened these three. I have not opened this one. Let me put it back here. So I need to open it last. I think I've opened the Superhero Mascara. And I don't think I've opened this one. So I'm going to try and finish off these as well as that Ico one before they all go bad. So um, I didn't get rid of any mascaras. I just put um, these three back in my everyday drawer. Okay. I'm scared of my lipsticks, honestly. I have so many that I don't use, so I really need to be brutal in this round. 
Um, and actually, I have a few in my uh, makeup bag for work. So let me go grab that real quick and I'll show you guys those. I'm not going to get rid of those because I use those pretty much every day at work. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is my makeup bag for work. Um, this is just an Ipsy bag that I got. So I'm going to show you guys what I put inside of here. So got a few things. I have this Mary Kay face powder that I just powder my face with um, when I get oily. This is very shiny. Let me I'm gonna move this too because that's too shiny. Um, I have this Hemp's moisturizing lip balm. I really love this. Um, it tastes really good and smells really good. I have this uh, marshmallow pumpkin latte hand lotion. I have an EOS lip balm. And then the lipsticks I have in here are First one is this Maybelline um, cream lipstick in Spice For Me. It's like a very pretty orange shade. I got this for fall, I just got this, so I'm definitely keeping it. I have this mini bite lipstick in the shade Chai. It's gorgeous, it's a very pretty everyday color. Definitely keeping it. I'm gonna try and use it up just because it's a mini. I don't really need a lot of minis, but it's nice to Keep in that bag because it doesn't take up too much space. I have this Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the shade Sultry. It's really gorgeous. And then the last lipstick that I have in here is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks uh, lipstick in Ziggy, and it's matte. Um, this one is also like an orangey shade. It's really gorgeous. I find that this lasts a very long time, although it is a little more drying than the other cream lipsticks. But yeah, so those are the ones I have in my lipstick bag. Definitely not getting rid of those. Okay, let's start. I have this ColourPop. This is like literally just the packaging from that other lipstick. I'm going to throw that in the trash. This section right here is like mini lipsticks and I think pen lip pencils as well. Um, this is the Jante Blue Lip Liner Pencil in Brown Sugar. It's a really pretty color. I need to put a lip liner in my... Um, in my makeup bag, so I'm gonna keep lip liners out and we'll decide what to do with them. Um, this is the Ciate Glitter Flip. Um, if you guys never heard of these, they're so cool. They're, they go on matte and then when you rub your lips together, the glitter comes out, it's gorgeous. Um, this is Forbidden. It's like a cranberry color, it's so beautiful. I have to swatch it for you guys. Oh my God, so beautiful. <laughs> but I'm definitely keeping it. Um, I'm gonna have to put these down here because I don't really have enough space. Uh, okay, all these Kylie lipsticks, let's look at their expiration date because I've had them for a very long time and I don't think that they're good anymore. This is Ginger. I think this was a Christmas set. Oh God, yeah, that's like so dry. Okay, that's going in the trash. I think I got all of these at the same time so they should all be pretty dry and they are, so there's Kristen, I did like Kristen, that was a pretty color. Um, I think this is Angel. Angel was my favorite from those. Uh, this one's actually still a little wet, but I'm not gonna risk putting that on my lips. I really don't even like matte lipsticks anymore. Like I, I liquid matte lipsticks, I, I, I don't know, I can't stand them anymore, so oh well. And this one is Moon, so I'm getting rid of those. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Keeve, it's black, so I use this for some Halloween looks. Um, it has an 18 month lifespan. I got this last year in the advent calendar, so it's definitely still good. Um, so I'm gonna keep it, just use it for some like Instagram looks. Um, this is the Balm, the Balm Jour Creamy Lip Stain in the shade. Maybe it's the shade Salute, I don't, I don't know, I can't tell. Um, but it has a 12 month lifespan. I'm pretty sure I got this in the summer, so it's not old. It's actually a really pretty color. I don't think I really gave this much of a chance to use, so that's pretty, that's pretty. So I'm gonna keep that. Here's the other Ciate um, Glitter Flip lipstick. I got them in a set for the holidays. Um, this is the shade Whisper. So this is like a nude color, but it has that glitter in it as well. It's really pretty, so I'm definitely keeping that. Um, this one I got in the summer. It's the Physician's Formula Muru Muru Butter Lipstick, I guess, in the shade Brazilian Sunset. It's like an orangey color. This was like almost too balmy for me, but I think I'm still going to keep it because I did like how it looked. 
um, and I'll use it again next summer. This is another lip balm. This is the Sun Bum Tinted Sunscreen Lip Balm in Bonfire. Um, I got this for work specifically, but it almost, it doesn't cut, it doesn't look right when you put it on, like as a lipstick, so I don't know how I feel about this one. Um, it's definitely not expired. I might give this to a friend and see if they like it, because I just, I don't know, I don't like how it looks. It's not really a good color on me, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna give that to a friend. Um, I have another mini lipstick. It's a Real Her lipstick in uh, mauve. This is a pretty one. I had this one in my uh, makeup bag for work for a while as well. I think this is definitely more of a spring color though. It's a lighter pink. Um, definitely gonna keep it. I do like it. I like the formula of this, so. Oh, here's two more Kylie ones. They're definitely bad. Um, I have Vixen and Love Bite. Vixen was really pretty for the holidays. It's like a very dark purple, super gorgeous. Um, and then Love Bite, it's like a purpley, purpley gray. They're so pretty, but they're definitely too old and I don't like that formula anymore. Now we're down to the lip, lip pencils. Um, this is the AOA Wonder Pencil in the shade Crush. I think, I thought this was like a cranberry color, but it definitely isn't. It's like bright pink. That's disgusting. I hate that color. Um, I'm just gonna toss this. Nobody's gonna want that color. It's really, that's a horrible shade. Um, let's see, oh, I have another AOA one in Naked. Um, I think this is just like a nude color. It's pretty dang nude. I think I'm gonna see if a friend wants this. Maybe somebody who's very pale will like that color. Okay, I think this is the last AOA pencil. It's in the shade Doll. It's like an orange color. I got this for the summer and I thought I would wear it, but I never did, so I don't think anyone's gonna want that color either, so I'm just gonna toss it. So I have a lot of nude lip pencils. Let's get this one, this one's not nude. This is the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in the shade Don't Be a Prune. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. It's like a purpley color. Okay, we're keeping that. That'll be good for the fall. Here's another Wet n Wild one in the shade Bear to Comment. I think this one was a little more pinky than I thought. Oh wow, that is a very good formula. Wow, that just went on like butter. Okay, it's not the color that I really wanted, but it's a great formula. I think I'm gonna keep this. Okay, um, I think I remember liking this one. This is the Lipstick Queen Lip Liner in Nude. I think I used this a lot because it looks pretty short. Um, really pretty. I might put this in my uh, makeup bag for work because that's a good color and it kind of matches with the colors that I use. Okay, I'm going to keep that one up here. Put it in my makeup bag. This is pretty new to me. Um, this is the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Liner in Enduring Mauve. Yeah, the only thing is it's like kind of purpley and I thought it wouldn't be. This is a great formula. Wow, that went on really well, but I'm never gonna use that color, so I think I'll see if a friend wants that. The next one is the Bodyography Barely There Lip Pencil. I think this is a nude, yeah. This formula is not that great though, it feels very drying. I'd much rather just get the LA Girl one in a nude color than this. And um, it doesn't have an expiration on here, so I'm gonna try and see if a friend wants this one, but yeah, I don't think I'd use that color. And this is a Mary Kay lip liner in medium nude. I think I do like this one as well. This is a good formula. That's really pretty. Oh yeah, okay, definitely keeping that one. Uh, again, this is the Jante blue one. I, I can't remember where I swatched it, so we're just gonna swatch it again. Is that it? I don't know. It's a darker color, um, so I might keep this uh, for one that's like in between this plum shade, maybe like a wine color. I'm gonna keep that. These are the mini lipsticks and the lip liners that I'm keeping. These are the ones that I'm tossing for the trash. These ones I'm gonna see if a friend wants. And then I'm putting this lipstick queen one in my everyday makeup bag. Let's move on to, um, these are lip glosses. So, starting off, I have this Tardis lip paint in Strike Gold. Let's see if it has an expiration date on here. 12 months, okay. 
Pretty sure I got this in December's BoxyCharm of last year. I do remember loving this. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. I don't wear gloss enough, um, but I really should use this more. It's so pretty. So I'm definitely keeping that one. Okay, these two Kylie glosses. Let's see expiration dates on these. 12 months. I got these when they first came out, so they're definitely old by now, and they're definitely not good. Um, this is Noelle. Yeah, this was from the Christmas collection like two or three years ago. Um, and it's basically the same color as that Tarte one, so I don't need this one. This one I remember loving. Um, this is in Cupid, but I just don't think I would wear it anymore. And it's expired, so definitely getting rid of that one, but I do remember loving this. The shade is really pretty. This is the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss in clear, or in behind the scenes, but it's just the clear color. Um, let's see, expiration date, 12 months. Um, really not sure when I got this but I know it it feels really good on the lips so I think I'm just gonna keep it and then I have a different one in the shade happiness in a bottle and this is just like a very like nudie pink color it's really pretty um I think I'm gonna keep this one but we'll see later if I don't have another shade like this this is the uh what is it Maybelline vivid hot lacquer in the shade tease um let's see an expiration on this okay there is no expiration on it but it does kind of look like it's separating in the tube i actually got this from a friend's mom so shout out to miss joni but i do think that this probably is bad by now but i really did like using it it's it looks like it's way too pale right but i did like using this on the center of my lips just to kind of give that like contouring effect it was really pretty i might purchase another one like this just to do that effect but yeah I think this is uh I think this might be bad by now so I'm gonna give it give it a rest and put it in the trash this next one is the AOA studio diamond lip gloss in the shade um 1107 glitz this is like a pinky white gloss the only thing is I hate this applicator it doesn't apply enough at a time like you have to dip into it like three times but look how pretty that is it's really gorgeous um I don't think it's bad. I got this two summers ago in Dallas. Yeah, at their store in Dallas. Um, so I don't think it's bad. It's like a year and a half old. I'm gonna keep it for like Instagram looks because that's really cool. Now this e.l.f. one, I definitely thought this was a really cool dupe for the Kylie one in um, Cupid. This is in the shade, the e.l.f. one is in the shade Glow. But the only thing is you can feel every single speck of glitter in here and look at that it actually looks pretty much the same as this uh aoa one and that aoa one's a dollar i mean this one's like three dollars so really not that crazy of a difference um but i never really liked this because you could feel all the glitter in it and it's probably bad by now i think this is like three years old so i'm gonna chunk this this is the nyx this is everything lip oil in the shade cranberry mint not really shade it's kind of like a flavoring um, but it is, it does have like kind of a red tone to it. Um, it smells really good. I got this in the advent calendar as well as a grape one, I think, but I hate the smell of grape. I just can't stand it. So I got rid of that one and gave it to a friend, but this is the 18 month lifespan. I'm going to keep it. Um, it smells really good and I'll probably break this out around Christmas. This, I could not tell you if I wanted to because the packaging is so ripped off but apparently it's a lip gloss in the shade tin fairy i want to say it's wet and wild but it's probably bad by now and this shade i never really used because it was super bright and i'm not into bright lips so i'm gonna chunk this okay this next one might have gotten all over everything but this is the pixie by petra lip gloss in the shade sheer sheer rose it's probably expired and this literally got everywhere i don't recommend this packaging but it might just have been because it's a mini I remember this being, yeah, it's a little minty too. It smells really good and it felt really good on the lips, but if the packaging in the larger one is good, then that's good, but this one got everywhere. It's so dirty. I'm definitely chunking this. Okay, next I have this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Glazy Days. I absolutely love this. Let's see, 18 month lifespan. I got this also in the uh, advent calendar, I think. Super gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Definitely keeping it. Um, and then this is the Kylie high gloss i think is what they're called um in the shade yeah high gloss and diva this has a 12 month lifespan i think i got it when they first came out at the beginning of the year 
I didn't actually want this shade, but it was the only one that was in Ulta and I refused to buy from her site because she has a no return policy. Um, this is a very comfortable gloss. I do like the color. Um, does it look like this, this essence one? Let's watch the essence one next to it because I don't remember which one it was. Let's see. Oh, okay, this must have been the Essence one. No, I like the shade of the Essence one more than I like the Kylie one. <laughs> so I think I'll see if a friend wants this Kylie one. I think that would look really good on maybe paler skin tones than mine. So. Okay, got rid of a lot of glosses. I really don't wear enough gloss to justify all those ones that I did have. So these are the ones that I'm keeping. These are the ones that are trash. Um, and then... I'm seeing if a friend wants the Kylie one. So this section is kind of the section that I choose to be like the lipsticks I want to use for the season. So I usually go through like maybe every month or every two months, go through my makeup and kind of pick out ones that I really want to use this season. So this is the fall kind of lip selection. Let me wipe off my hand so I can do some swatches. Okay, so as you can see, a lot of those stained my hand. So, I mean, that's a, that's a good thing. That's definitely not a bad thing, but um, just so you know, Got a little stainage going on here. Uh, but yeah, so here's my fall lipstick drawer. I'm gonna start off um, with these couple ones over here because I know that they're newer. Um, this is the Anastasia Matte Lipstick in Stevie. I got this at TJ Maxx. It's super gorgeous. It's a pretty fall look. I don't know if I really like the matte-ness of it. I, I'm not really into matte, matte lipstick, so I'm not sure why I got it. But the color's super gorgeous. Um, you know, as much as I really like it, I think I might see if a friend wants it more because I'm just not into matte lipstick, so I don't know if I would actually get any use out of this. The next one is this Ulta Beauty. It's the Ulta brand lipstick and chocolate kiss. I think this one's a cream lipstick, let's see. It doesn't say on here, but I'm pretty sure it's a cream. Yeah, it's definitely a cream. You can tell the difference. It's a little shinier than this one. Um, and you know what? They're pretty. They're a pretty close match, so I'm not really mad about giving up the Anastasia one and keeping this one. This is a Mary Kay lipstick in tanned. It is actually no longer sold. My mom told me the other day, which is sad, because I guess I just discovered this in my collection like last month. It's probably expired. Like if it's been that long that they don't carry it anymore, it's definitely expired, which is sad because it's a really pretty nude color. So I think I'm just gonna have to trash this because I'm pretty sure it's old. And no longer good. Um, so, oh gosh. So the first thing I have up here is pretty new to me. It is the uh, Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick in the shade Cedar Later. I also thought this would be a really good fall shade. It's really pretty. I, I really like that. Um, this is going to be part of my everyday. I can already predict um, everyday makeup. So Super gorgeous, definitely keeping this. Um, let's move on to these lip lingeries by NYX. Let me see, here's another one. Okay, I really like this formula of these. They are matte, but they are like a very comfortable matte. They're almost like um, satin matte. Um, I have the shade Black Book, Push Up and Cashmere Silk. Let's go ahead and swatch them. Black Book is like the most purpley out of all of them. Yeah, it's really pretty. I got these in a set for Christmas, so let's see the expiration. 18 months, okay, they're still good. Thank goodness. I do really like these when I'm looking for a nude lip. I like them more so in the fall than in the, I mean, in the summer. I like them in the summer more so than the fall. Um, they don't swatch the best because I'm swatching them on my hairy arms, but you know, what, what can you do? Um, okay. You know, I think I'm just gonna keep all three of them because they're still really pretty and yeah, okay. So let's just keep on the topic of NYX. Um, I have these three liquid suede lipsticks. Now I really, I really don't like this formula that much. Um, I like the colors that came out in this range. Um, they all have a six month lifespan, are you kidding me? They're definitely older than that. Um, I have Stone Fox. Subversive Socialite in Vintage. Um, God, they're so pretty, but they're definitely older than, definitely older than, <gasps> do you see that? Ew, it just dripped. Okay, they're definitely disgusting. I'm gonna have to get rid of these, but I really liked the colors, so that's sad. 
Let's move on to these other NYX lipsticks. I didn't really realize how much NYX lipsticks I have in my collection, but I really do have a lot. Um, so these are two soft matte lip creams. Pretty sure I got these. I'm not sure why that one doesn't have a sticker on the bottom. That's kind of weird. Pretty sure I got these in the advent calendar, but maybe I didn't. I don't know. Um, this red one, I can't even read the shades. The red one's in the shade Monte Carlo. Uh, this one's in Budapest. This is a really pretty color. Um, let's see, expiration 16 months? No, 18 months. This one might be too old. It feels kind of, oh no, that kind of feels good actually. These are nice because they are matte, but they aren't like uncomfortable. This red though, I don't think, I don't know, it's like a candy apple, so maybe I'll use it in the in the uh, Christmas time. Yeah, that is really pretty. Okay, I'm keeping both of them. I think this is the last NYX thing in this section. This is the NYX Slip Tees Lip Oil, I wanna say. Yeah, full color lip oil in Fire Dancer. This is really pretty. Let's see what year expiration date is. 12 months, okay. Ooh, the only bad thing is this might, I've, I don't think I really use this that much, but I feel like this wouldn't last long. But I think I'm gonna keep it anyways and try and use it and see what I like. I mean, see if I like it. I'm gonna go through reds. Um, this is the Belle in Argent Lip Luray Gloss in the shade, doesn't have a shade, but it's red. Um, I think this is my only red lip gloss that I own, so I think I'm gonna keep it. It's fairly new. I think this is was in one of my most recent Ipsies before I canceled in the summer, so I think I'm gonna keep it. Um, this is the Revlon Matte Balm in the shade Stand Out. I do remember really liking, you can tell I didn't use this as much as the other Matte Balm because it's not flat. I do remember really liking this. Um, it's a very comfortable formula. I think I'm gonna keep this. Huda Beauty. Um, I got this in a Ipsy. This is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Flirt. And you know, I really don't think I liked this formula like at all. Um, the shade is really cool, um, but I don't think I like this formula, so I think I'm gonna give it up. This is the Ola Neon Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade DF. Not sure what DF means, but Yes. Um, wow, that color's really pretty. I need to use my lipsticks more. Um, but like I said, I don't like liquid matte, so I think I'm gonna see if a friend wants this one. It's pretty, but I have cream lipsticks in this shade that I would definitely prefer to use rather than the matte lipsticks. Here's, um, I think I have two Grolactic. Maybe not, okay. Well, here's a Grolactic Beauty Matte Lip Paint in the shade Demure. I think I also got this in a BoxyCharm. It definitely still seems like it's good. It's a beautiful color. Um, it has a six month lifespan. But dang, that's beautiful. That's so pretty. Okay, this might be one of the only matte lipsticks that I keep. That's really pretty. Okay, here's another um, lip gloss. I do love how this one feels. This is the LA Colors High Shine Lip Gloss um, in the shade Fresh. It has a little bit of glitter to it. It's a beautiful nude color. It's so pretty. Like you can wear this on its own. It's so pigmented. It's really gorgeous. I'm gonna put this back in the uh, lip gloss drawer section or whatever, but look how pretty. That's beautiful. Definitely keeping that. This is the Makeup Geek liquid lipstick. It doesn't have a shade on it. I think I got this in a BoxyCharm or Ipsy. I used to love this color, but I'm pretty sure it's over two years old. Um, this was when Kylie first came out with her lipsticks too, and they were this color. Um, so I think this was Makeup Geek's response, but I'm gonna have to trash it because I'm pretty sure it's old. Another Kylie lipstick. I have not ordered from Kylie in so long, so I don't think this is good. Um, this is in the shade Blitzen. Didn't I have that in the minis anyways? That's beautiful, but yeah, it's definitely expired. That's sad. Okay, um, the Anastasia liquid lipstick in Ashton. You know, I really don't like this formula either because I'm not really a big matte lipstick formula person anymore and I think I have this color in a 
cream lipstick, so I'll see if a friend wants this one. Um, this is a Bite Lip Crayon in the shade Glace. It's a matte cream, matte cream lip crayon. That is a tongue twister. Um, it's a really pretty color, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep it. Oh, I'm bad. Okay, um, this is the Tardis Lip Paint in the shade Delish. Um, this has a six month lifespan. It's definitely longer than six months because I used to use this for uh, color guard games, um, for football games. It's definitely been longer than six months, but God, that was a gorgeous color. It stayed all day through eating and everything. I definitely recommend this formula if you're into matte uh, lipsticks that stay all day. Definitely dried out my lips, but it was worth it for how long it stayed. So, God, that's gorgeous, but definitely gonna have to trash this. It's way too old. Okay, we missed this uh, lip liner earlier, but this is the Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in the shade Deeply Intoxicated. Pretty sure I just got this one because I thought I didn't have one this shade, but I do. Um, I have this one, which is pretty much the same shade, but I think I'm going to keep this one anyways. I'm gonna put it over here, and you know I'm gonna move the purple one over here as well. Okay, this is a Mary Kay lip tint. I'm gonna swatch it even though I know it's gonna stain my hand. Um, okay, let's find a good spot. Maybe right here. Golly, that's gorgeous. This is a red. I thought it was a, looking at this, it'd be, look like berry, but it's definitely like a red color. That's beautiful. Okay, let me try and take it off as soon as I can because it's definitely going to stain. Definitely keeping it. I use these lip stains. I have another one I'll show you, um, a lot during the summer. Um, but this color, I don't know because look, when it leaves my hand, it's, very bright pink and I'm not sure I am looking for a bright pink so I might see if my mom wants this back. Um, out of that drawer, these are all the ones that I'm keeping. Um, these are all the ones that are expired and I'm getting rid of and these are all the ones I'm giving to friends. Okay, let's move this. Okay, I actually just got this from Marshalls for $5.99. It's just a lip uh, balm, like a five pack of lip balms. Um, I just thought it was really cute. This is like my lip care station or whatever. It has lip balms in it. Uh, this is just an LSU lip balm. I'm pretty sure it's bad by now. Yeah, it smells gross. Okay, I'm gonna toss that. Um, I got this Pacifica lip balm pack from Target because it was on sale, but I used, I haven't used this one actually. I used this one once and it, look at that. What is that? That's gross, so I'm tossing these. They're gross and it was a waste of my money, but I'm the one who didn't return it, so. <laughs> then I have another EOS lip balm. Definitely keeping this, I just got this, so. Um, I have a Satin Lips Mary Kay lip mask. Definitely keeping this. I'm actually trying to get through my um, like lip exfoliators right now because I realized I never used them. So I have a e.l.f. lipstick, not lipstick, um, what's it called, lip scrub. It's just the normal clear one um, in my shower right now. So I've been using that every night and I'm gonna try and get through that one and then I'll get through my other ones. Um, I'm definitely keeping this other EOS lip balm. Actually, no, it smells kind of bad. Okay, I'm, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't wanna use bad lip balm. Um, and then I have this Trust Fund Beauty Lipgasm Lip Scrub. This has a 12 month lifespan. I don't think it's been that long. Um, so I'm gonna keep that. And then I have this BKR Paris Water Balm. It only has a six month lifespan. It's definitely been longer than that. I used this a lot when I first got it. And then I realized that I liked other stuff better. So I'm gonna toss this. It's definitely bad by now. This is kind of my basket that I keep non-seasonal stuff. Um, so like this basket was for my fall lipsticks. This is everything else. So like summer and stuff this goes in here and other random things that just wouldn't fit. So there's definitely too much in here. Um, this is the Mary Kay Matte Lipstick in Puro Murtio. It is a purple, dark, dark, dark purple. Um, it's really pretty, definitely keeping it. It is matte, so I don't really like matte, but it's a beautiful color. So it'll be good for like um, fall, winter looks. This is the MAC um, satin lipstick in Epic. It's a beautiful purple. I used this for a um, Halloween look actually last week. 
So I'm gonna keep it just for creative looks. It's not old at all, so I know it's still good. Um, okay, let's get this Kylie one out because I know it's bad. This is in the shade uh, Mary Jo K. It's beautiful, but I don't like this formula anymore and it's definitely expired. This is the AOA Wonder Matte Lipstick in Nude. Probably bad by now because it looks like it's a little chunky. I didn't really like this color or this formula, so I'm gonna chunk it. Okay, these are two, I think these are the only two left from my KKW collection. Now, I don't know. Okay, it gives you an expiration date, 12 months. This looks like it's separated. Let's look at it. It's definitely, I think, been longer than 12 months. I think I got this two, two summers ago. I did like these because they were cream, so they had a really good like feel on the lips, but I think I'm gonna chunk them because they're definitely expired. Okay, here we go, lip lingerie. Okay, this one's way too light and I know it's too light for me. So I'm gonna give this to a friend. I don't think it's bad. This was also in that, that um, set that I got for Christmas last year. So I'm gonna give this to a friend before it goes bad and they can use it. It's an 18 month shelf life. So this will last till next summer, I think. Um, this is in embellishment. Actually, I should put this back in that other section because this is a pretty like, purpley color that would be good for, for fall and winter. So I'm gonna put that in this section. Here's my other Galactic. I knew I had another Galactic lipstick. This is the Matte Lip Paint in Blossom. I do like this formula of these. Let's see, uh, only only six months. Yeah, we said on the other one. This one, oh my God, it's so pretty. I'm keeping it, it's too pretty. Okay, let's reach for a um, bullet lipstick. This is the Clinique lipstick in uh, Love Pop. Doesn't have an expiration on it, which you'd think Clinique would, but I think this came in an Ipsy bag. It's really pretty. I use this a lot in the summer. You really can't even tell because it's like, doesn't even look like it's used, but it's really shimmery, really gorgeous. Definitely a summer shade for me, so I'm going to keep that for summer. Okay, another red lipstick. And I just think I'm going to get rid of it. Has a 12 month shelf life, it's still good. It's a matte lipstick, I don't need a red matte lipstick, so I'm gonna give this to a friend. Kylie Gloss in the shade Cherry Pie. This is definitely older than 12 months old. This was really pretty though. I used this a lot one summer, the summer that I got it. Um, it's a beautiful red lip gloss, but I already have another one and this is definitely expired, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Laritzy Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Curve. I didn't like this actually, I think I got it in an Ipsy as well or maybe a boxy charm. This this applicator doesn't give you anything. The color is nothing. I'm just gonna chunk it. It's not good at all. Okay, this is an Anastasia Matte Liquid Lipstick and Catnip. Let's see, I got this at the same time as that other one. It's like a purple? It's a weird color. I don't know, I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna see if a friend will, will use that because I'm not gonna use that color. Okay, here's the other Mary Kay lipstick. So let's swatch it next to its buddy. Yeah, this one was the pink one, and I definitely used this in the summer. So I'm definitely gonna keep it. It's definitely gonna stain my hand, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm keeping this one though. This is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the shade Melted Fig. This is a 12 month shelf life, and I'm pretty sure I've had this for a lot longer than that. I did actually like this formula. I used this for a few games as well, and it stayed pretty well, um, but I just don't think that's good anymore, so I'm gonna have to toss it. Okay, another one, Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Candy. I think I got this from TJ Maxx. I don't know why else I would get something this color. It is absolutely crazy, um, but I think I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep it for summer looks. Um, it definitely hasn't been 12 months with this, so I think I'm actually gonna keep it. I know it's a weird color, but it's kinda cool. Uh, this is the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in Queen V. This is a 12 month shelf life and I'm pretty sure, yeah, look how chunky it is. It's definitely older than that. So I'm gonna chunk that. I didn't like this formula anyways when I first had it, when it was good. Let's do this one. This is the Too Faced Melted Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipstick in the shade Hot Mess. Mmm. Pretty. That's really pretty. I'm sorry my hairs on my hand are standing up. Um, I think I've had this longer than 12 months though. It's a really pretty shade. Don't get me wrong, but I think I'm gonna have to chunk it. 
Okay, this is the Koki Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Desire. I know I heard a lot about this brand from Tati. I think this might be expired though. So give me a shelf life. Yeah, 12 months. I think I got this in an Ipsy bag. Let's yeah, it's definitely way too thick. It wasn't this thick when I first got it. So I, I didn't like this formula anyways. So I'm just gonna chunk it. That color's not really that cute, so I'm not mad. This is definitely expired. This is a Mary Kay liquid lip color in raspberry ice. They don't sell this anymore. This is definitely expired. But look at that color. It's so pretty. But I'm gonna toss it. That's sad. This is the Peripera Ink Velvet in the shade Love Sniper Red. This I think is a lip stain. Yeah, it's really pretty. Um, but I already have a red lipstick that I'm comfortable with. So I'm gonna give this to a friend and see if they want it. Okay, the last three I have in here are also from that advent calendar. This is the NYX Liquid Suede, Liquid Suede Lip Lingerie. Oh, okay, I have another one of those. Um, in Slip. Ooh, I don't know about that color. Still has an 18 month shelf life, but I'm not gonna use that. So let me give that to a friend. Maybe they'll use that. Okay, let's see these two liquid suedes. This is in the shade Starstruck. I can tell you right now, I think I'm gonna keep this for summer just because it's a really cool color. Yeah, it's like a pinky red, so I think I'm gonna keep that for summer. And then this one is Peanut Brittle. Wow, that's pretty. Whoa. I didn't even know that I had this. This is so pretty. I'm keeping this in the fall drawer. That's beautiful. All right, let's put these back in the summer drawer. Wow, that's the only summer shades that I have. I love that. Oh, and we'll put the purple one in here too because I don't use that enough. Okay, so there's summer. Here's the lip treatments. Let's put back the fall lip glosses, lip liners, and mini lipsticks. Wow, that, that's pretty good, y'all. That's actually really nice. Okay, so I can't even hold all the ones that I'm getting rid of, but these are the ones I'm giving to friends. Here's the lipsticks that I'm chunking because they're definitely old. And here's the lip treatments that I'm chunking as well. Wow, lip drawer done. Awesome. That makes me feel nice. So this is my everyday makeup drawer, so I'll show you this at the end. Palettes. Okay, so I have all my palettes in here and they're overflowing because I usually keep one or two out in my everyday makeup. So first off, um, I have the Hot Buttered Rum palette that I just got. It's been in my everyday makeup. Um, I have the box for it. Um, so I'm just gonna chunk the box, um, but I do like this, so I'm definitely gonna keep it. And I think I'll put it back in my everyday makeup. So face palettes, let's do those first. Um, so this is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. This has a 12 month sh sh shelf palette, shelf, what was that? Shelf life, wow, that was hard. Um, this is so beautiful, like, oh. I was dying for this ever since it came out and then it went on sale uh, one day at Ulta and so I went and bought it. It smells so good. It smells like sunscreen actually, but it smells really good to me. <laughs> I like that smell. Um, I never use this pink highlight, but I love this highlight. I love this blush. This blush was good for summer. I like these bronzers. These are really good. I need to get more use out of it because it probably is coming up on 12 months um, near the beginning of the year next year. So I need to get more use out of this one. This next one I have is the Makeup Revolution um, and Soap X Highlighter Palette. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's see the shelf life, 12 months. Um, I literally love this palette so much. It's gorgeous. I used this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade. I didn't use these as much. This one's a little too dark and these are too crazy for me, but this one I loved the most. It's so gorgeous. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna keep it, that no, one bad. Let's do some smaller ones. Uh, here's a pure sculptor palette that I think I got in BoxyCharm. This has a, ooh, only a six month shelf life. It's definitely older than that. It has um, two contours and two highlights. It used to smell like chocolate, but it doesn't really anymore. That's how I can tell that it's just definitely gone. 
bad. So I think I'm just gonna have to chuck this. That's pretty sad. Okay, this is that highlighter palette I was talking about to y'all earlier. This is the Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlighter Collection. Let's see the shelf life, 12 months. And I think I've had it longer than 12 months, but I think I'm gonna keep it anyways. I use it so little, but when I do use it, I love it. Um, this is a green, a blue, a yellow, um, like a pinky purple, purple and pink. It's absolutely gorgeous. These colors are awesome. I use this for like special looks, special events. I'm gonna keep it even though I know it's expired because I use it so little that um, I don't think it'll matter. This poor little elf palette. It's all broken on the back, but this is the contour palette. It doesn't tell me an expiration date, but I know it's expired. I've had it for way too long, but this used to be my holy grail, specifically for like only this shade. Um, this was my go-to contour shade in college. Like absolutely freaking loved it. I know it's bad and I know it's expired, so I'm gonna get rid of this, but I definitely recommend if you're looking for a contour palette, that one's really good. Oh, this poor Anastasia cream palette that I wanted so bad. Um, it's a cream contour palette in medium. Um, I got it for Christmas, I wanna say two years ago, and it only has a 12 month shelf life, so it's definitely bad, it looks gross. And I didn't even use it, so that was pretty sad, but what can you do? Whatever, at least my mom got it for half price. Okay, so the next one on top is the Norvina palette. Um, I got this for my birthday, actually, I think last year or this year, I, I don't remember. Um, it only lasts for 18 months though, which is surprising, but so pretty. Um, I don't use it as much as I should really, but I have been getting a lot of use out of these shimmer shades recently. Um, so I need to dip into this a lot more often, um, but I really love it. Thank you, Jack, for this for my birthday present. Um, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. Next is the Modern Renaissance, this poor baby. Like, oh God, I loved it to death. It also has a, oh no, it has a six month shelf life. What the heck? I used this for like three years in college. I think I got it my freshman year and I used this, the crap out of it. I almost said a bad word. Like literally used the crap out of it. Loved it, dropped it, repanned it. Like, oh my God, I freaking loved it. But I don't use it anymore, and it's definitely bad, and that's so sad. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna chuck it. This, this, she did me well for three good years, and um, she's definitely past her expiration date. Okay, the next palette that I have is the Ace Beauty Grandiose palette. Um, I think I got this in a boxy charm. It's really pretty. It doesn't give me an expiration date on it, but um, I used this last year a lot during. Um, the fall time they gave this palette to us in the summer and I was like this is not a summer palette maybe for these two but these are definitely fall shades so I think I'm gonna keep this and try and use it again this fall Carly Bible oh my god I freaking love this palette and y'all I don't think I'm gonna get that Carly and Anastasia palette but I freaking loved this one this is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette like oh let's see expiration 24 months, okay, two years is not bad, but I know it's definitely older than two years old. Oh, y'all, and I had to repress this one because it fell, I think these two both fell and I repressed them. I used to use this as an everyday palette. Freaking loved this highlight, so gorgeous, absolutely wonderful, but I don't think I'll, I'll use it anymore and I have these shades in um, other palettes, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye to this, but it was my love for a good three, four years. So this is the Pure Soiree Diaries palette. Um, it has a 36 month shelf life. It's definitely not bad yet. Um, I got this in a boxy charm, I wanna say. I do really like, these colors are like all lid and crease shades. These colors were pretty, these were pretty, but I do remember it not being the best quality. Like this has some liquid in it. Um, I think because I try to use liquid with these shimmers. Let's swatch one, cause I don't remember them being that great. Okay, yeah, it does look pretty, but it's not really as good as it is showing up on my finger as it's not showing up that well on my hand. Yeah, I think I'm gonna chunk this because I kind of ruined it for other people by doing all that gross stuff in here with liquids, so I'm gonna have to chunk this. Okay, next palette is the Winky Lux Kitten, what does it say? Kitten palette. This is for BoxyCharm. I'm not sure if you can get it normally. Um, it has a 12 month lifespan. I think I've had it longer than 12 months. Um, 
And you know, I really didn't care much for this palette. Um, the only thing I liked was this blue shade. I really love this blue shade. Let me swatch it for you. It's like a blue-brown duochrome. Um, absolutely gorgeous. With like a purple shift. So beautiful. So I might see if I can't just get this one shade out of that palette and then throw away the rest. Even though I know it's expired, but that shade's just so pretty, so. Next one is this Anastasia Subculture Palette. Everybody freaking hated this. Um, let's see, got a six month lifespan. Wow, that is crazy. So what, is, what does this one have? Why does this one have an 18 month lifespan? They made in different factories? Look, why do they have a different back? They have a different backing too, hold on. This one is, this one's made in the USA. What is this one made? Made in the USA. I don't know why these two have different shelf lives. That's really, ooh, that's really weird. But this one came out after Subculture, so maybe after that they've changed their shelf life. Very odd. Okay, anyways, so Subculture. Um, these shades are like nothing else I have in my other palettes. And I really love that color. Um, now that I know it has a six month shelf life, I'm kind of thinking, I don't know how long I've had this. I also got this at TJ Maxx, so I, I didn't pay full price for it. And honestly, I think um, some of these colors work really well, but some of them I can tell, yeah, they are patchy, like like other people say. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it anyways, though, because I don't really have these colors, so. Um, next thing I have, it doesn't even have a name on it, but it's from the 99 cent store. Um, this looks like the Naked Heat, that's what it reminded me of, but I'm just gonna chunk this because I know it, it was crappy, so bye-bye. This next one is the Alamar Cosmetics Palette. Um, this is the Reina del Caribe Volume 1. So this is the Volume 1 palette. Super pretty. Why do I have it this? Here we go. Um, super gorgeous shades. What's the shelf life? 12 months. I think I've had it since um, last summer though, so I think it is, I think it is bad. That's so sad. It's really gorgeous, I did not get enough use out of it. Oh my god, it feels so good. That's pretty. Oh, that made me want to just keep it. Why did I do that? Oh my god, hold on. Man, now I want to keep this sucker. Urgh. I'm keeping it. I'm gonna try and get some looks out of this in the fall and winter and see if I still like it a lot um, and if it still performs well. Uh, yeah, I'm keeping her. The next one is the Crown Pro palette. Doesn't say what palette it is, um, but this also came in a BoxyCharm. It's really pretty. It's got um, some really nice warm Colors for fall, super gorgeous. I think I'm gonna keep this and also try and bring it out this fall. This is the Kylie Cosmetics I Want It All birthday palette. Um, let's see what. Okay, the eyeshadows have a 24 month lifespan and the two blush, the blush and the highlight have a 12 month lifespan. Um, so this was for her birthday, I wanna say. And Kylie's birthday is right on the same time as mine. It's in August. Um, but I really didn't even get like barely any use out of this. So I'm gonna chuck it. It's probably bad by now. I I didn't even like the payoff, the colors, or I, I don't even know why I got that. That was a waste of money. This is probably my only bright colored eyeshadow palette. Um, this is a lifespan of 24 months. I don't think they even sell this anymore. This is the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. I think they've already had a Take Me Back to Brazil and then one more palette after that. So this is probably more than 24 months old, but it has all these amazing colors in it. So I think uh, I'm just gonna keep it for Instagram looks. And uh, yeah. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. Um, let's see, we've got a 24 month lifespan. I think I got this, I don't think I've had that. Wait, when did I get this? I don't even know, like November maybe of last year? Or October or something like that So I don't think it's been two years yet. It's only been like one year So I think I'm gonna keep these just for like the cool colors and use it uh, For bright looks so I did actually use I think I used these two colors and this one for a really cool look last year during um, Winter so I'm gonna keep this again. 
Okay, this is a Mary Kay Magnetic Palette. Sorry, you can see the, the uh, glare. I think this just has extra stuff in here. Yeah, okay, so um, here is some Mary Kay eyeshadows, which I need to use these. These are pretty. Um, and then another Mary Kay blush. Let's see what shade you are. In Rogue Rose. That's beautiful. Might need to change up my mini palette and put that out for my everyday looks. And then this blush. I wrote on it. Good job, Victoria. Um, this is an Ofra blush in Melon. It's really pretty. I'm going to keep all of these. Okay, sorry for like the major glare going on on all these products. Let's turn that around. Okay, but um, this is my everyday drawer. So it's looking really simple and easy. Here's all the brow and eyeliner and uh, mascara products, my sprays. Um, I have two separate foundations I can choose from. My primer, my concealers, blush bronzer, and then my powders. So that's pretty nice. Um, if you stuck around through this whole video, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you really enjoy this. I know I love watching these videos. Um, so thank you so much. Leave it a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.